My name is Lieutenant Jack Fenger of Precinct 2.5. Yeah, this is my beat. But don't think for one minute that I've got a desk job. No, sir. Nothing cushy for me. You're the satin pillars you asked for, Lieutenant. Thanks. You have those reports, Jack? Right here, Chief. Give you a B-plus in biology, but only a C in English lit. Better luck next time. I want you to meet your new partner, Jack. Lieutenant Finger, I'm Frank Lee. Frank Lee what? A Frank Lee, period. Period, huh? Strange name for a cop. Uh, no, Frank Lee, that's all. I don't think that's all, Frank. I think our relationship is just beginning. What are you working on, Jack? I'm working on a kidnap. The Virginia brief kidnapping? That's right, Chief. I'm working on the Virginia briefcase. How's it coming? <laughs> Pretty good. The lining's a little ripped, but uh, I got the handle fixed. You did work, Jack. What's his tape? Oh, that's the uh, ransom tape. This is Virginia Brief. Ouch! I'm telling you, I've not been harmed. Ow! 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 Please pay the money, and in the meantime, I will continue to be treated in a civilized manner. Ow! Hey, that really hurt! Anything else? Yep. Yeah. It's pretty gruesome, Chief. Oh, no, a leg. Disgusting. Yeah. To see a nice piece of furniture destroyed like that it makes a man sick. What do you think, Jack? Should we play hardball with these creeps? Well, I'd like to, but my arm's a little stiff and your hitting isn't what it used to be. So we'd better pay the ransom instead. Do you need a bag, man? Nope. I've got a lunchbox, bro. I want you to help me deliver the money. Well, frankly, I knew it. That's okay. And frankly, I know who you are. Period. Here's the ransom, honey. $500,000 in untraceable bills. Let's see, uh... I can only make out the back of Jefferson's head right here. Uh, yeah, yeah, these are untraceable, all right. Let's go to work. Frankly, I'm ready. Are you frankly? I'm, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> yeah? This is Lieutenant Jack Finger with the copsters. We're here to pick up Virginia Brief. Oh, you're in the Virginia Briefcase. Frankly, I left it back at the office. Oh, I'll get it. Hi, you lieutenant. Well, if it isn't Rosie the Rose Rosewell. The last time I saw you, you were Rosie the Bud Rosewell. You've certainly blossomed. Frankly, you still look the same. I thought he went back to the office. Meet my partner. Bill the Busboy Binghamton. Busboy, eh? Uh, how about getting me a glass of water? Sure thing. Wait, Bill. First, make sure he's clean. Okay, let's see him. Uh, oh, let's see those ears. Okay, he's clean. All right, let Virginia go. First, give Bill the money. Sure thing. Oh, by the way, Bill, would you mind cleaning off that table? I'll get right on that. Maybe calling myself the bus boy wasn't such a good idea after all. Here's your dough, Rosie. Now let the girl go. <laughs> You're vicious, Rosie. Making that poor girl think she was tied up all this time. That's cruel, vicious, and mean. Thanks. I'll bet you say that to all the kidnappers. <laughs> it's, uh, it's getting a little stuffy in here, Rosie. You mind if I open a window? Eh, what do we care? We've got the money. Here I am. At... The window. <laughs> All right, everybody freeze. Wait a minute. This isn't my gun. You threw me the wrong gun. I want my gun. Freeze, Lieutenant. Ow! <laughs> You're a dead man. Okay, but first, could I have some extra dinner rolls? No problem. <clears throat> I can't believe you fell for the more dinner rolls bit. That's the oldest trick in the book, bus boy. Come on, all of you. Hold it. Well, Virginia, I guess we've wrapped up this case. Oh, my case. It looks so beautiful. I hate to open it. Please, let's not reopen the Virginia briefcase.